so what am I doing here? <laughs> Some of you might be able to figure it out, especially if you can see where the vacuum line is connected, right there. But I'm trying to pump up vacuum. I'd like to get it up to maybe 10 inches of vacuum. What I'm doing here is I'm testing vacuum door locks on this W123 sedan. And right now I'm flashing back about 14 years ago to the very first video I did on YouTube. And it was concerning this same situation. You know, why aren't my vacuum door locks working? So I'm just going to pull up that video and let you watch it right now. Yesterday, a customer brought in this 240D and he has the dreaded door lock leak, followed by the fact that the engine won't shut off when he turns the key. The problem is he's had this car to two or three different shops and they cannot find the door lock leak. So I'm going to show you a few tricks on how to troubleshoot and try to find a leak inside the doors. All 123 chassis, that's all uh, 240D, 300D, 300TD from 7785 use vacuum to open and close the door locks. To find the problem, there's going to be two things you're going to need. You're going to need a hand pump tester and my handy vacuum troubleshooting door lock guide. In fact, today I'm going to need to look at this book myself because I can't always remember how to do this job. Begin in the engine compartment. To find your door lock vacuum circuit, look for the yellow check valve. Remove the check valve and test it before you start your pump testing. You can test this check valve by sucking on it and blowing on it. It should blow through one way but not allow you to suck air back through the other. If it's going both ways then you're going to need to replace the check valve. The yellow gray or yellow and black on some models hard plastic line is the circuit that goes back to the trunk to your vacuum reservoir. Let's see if that reservoir is holding vacuum. It's going to take a couple minutes to build vacuum into that tank, but eventually you should start to see the gauge rise and by releasing the pump you can see there's no leak in the tank. The solid yellow feed line is the line that goes to the door lock switch on the driver's door and this feeds vacuum to your entire door lock system. Let's see if this will hold pressure. Ah, it doesn't look very good, does it? In fact, this circuit is not holding pressure at all. After removing the door panel, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this switch. The switch is actuated through this lever and opens and closes the vacuum circuit to open and close the locks on your doors. This looks okay, but I'm still wondering why there's no vacuum in the yellow line coming from the engine compartment to this valve. So for a further test, I'm going to plug this line with a small rivet. Now if there's no problem with this line at all, I should be able to go back to the engine compartment, pump the yellow line from there, and it should hold vacuum. Okay, just to recount here, we're going to try to test this line to see if there's any leaks in it. So let's see if it holds vacuum. Yeah, sure enough, it's not doing a thing. So that means we've probably got some sort of a leak or a break in the line running from the door up to the engine compartment. All right, now I'm going to just follow this line down and see if I can see any obvious uh, crack or break in it. It's likely maybe the window mechanism could have come down and hit the vacuum line. Or there's always the possibility that it could be broken up in the section where it passes between the door into the, uh, the post, the forward post of the body. So I'm going to get a hold of the line up there and I, oh, look at that, broken. Sure enough, there's the problem right there. I hope this might be of help when you try to isolate some of the brakes or leaks in your own 123 chassis. 
the intent of this video is to not give you every detail on how to fix the locks, but I wanted to show this particular problem. It doesn't show up all the time, but trying to find a leak inside a door frame can be very troublesome and sometimes very difficult. So uh, let that be a little tip, and if you need further information, be sure and uh, check out my 123 door lock repair manual. So now I'm back here to present day with this 123. I've already gone through the entire door lock system. So I'm not troubleshooting it, I'm testing it. This is the final test before I put the final door panel back on. I'm going to pump up and fill up the system. And what I want to do is make sure it's holding vacuum. If you hook the vacuum hand pump tester up to this check valve, with the two yellow lines going through the firewall, those are your feed lines for the entire vacuum door lock system, including a reservoir tank in the back. And if you can't get it to hold vacuum, then you gotta go find out where the leaks are. And you got to see that in the earlier video I did. You know, it's a constant struggle to try to find out where are the leaks. Well, we found we had two bad actuators. We had a bad actuator in the trunk, and now, since this is holding vacuum, I think I've solved my problem, but we want to make sure before we put that final door panel back on that the door locks are working. And I can test them right now with the key. All right, when I do this, I've got to watch all four door lock knobs to make sure they go down into the lock position. That one's pulling down, and look, across to the right side, both of those have gone down. And then I'm going to open the locks. Now they're going to come up kind of slow because I don't have a lot of vacuum left. But look at that. All four door locks are working. Let's check and see how much vacuum it used while I was doing this test. All right. See, I dropped off to about seven and a half inches. So I'll just take a minute here and pump it back up to 10. And then we're going to go back and check the trunk. All right. I'm going to lock all the locks. Now I get to check the trunk. Look at that, it's locked. All right, I'll go back and we'll open it up. All right, all four door locks have come up. Now I'm crossing my fingers because sometimes this trunk lock can be very troublesome. Look at that. <laughs> we have a working trunk lock. One thing I found over the years is a lot of times if you close your trunk, and it locks automatically, it's because something's wrong with the actuator here. And in many cases, you're gonna to have to fix this to get your trunk open, even if you're not using the door lock system. Now this right front door was the last one I repaired. I had to replace the actuator right here. It was leaking. And I wanna make sure everything's working before I take the time to put the door panel back on. And I wanna mention that, look at this new door liner I have on here. I have a door liner kit now with double stick removable tape so that it will allow you to remove the liner and put it right back on, which is really nice. But look at how nice that looks. This is a heavier mill vinyl than what was on the factory. And this kit includes enough vinyl and a tape and everything, including instructions on how to replace these yourself. All right, we're ready to put the door panel back on. For me, working on these old diesel vacuum systems is like a trip down memory lane. This is the very first manual that I wrote in 2000. <laughs> and it was because as I started to sell Mercedes parts online, I got so many email questions about, hey, my engine won't shut off. Hey, my door locks won't work. And I decided I'm tired of answering emails. I'm gonna write a manual. So this is the first one of many. I've already determined that my vacuum pump is working properly and producing the correct amount of vacuum. So by plugging this line back in right here, I know that I'm going to have working door locks when I drive old Spence here. And this is, this is really exciting. If you've ever driven these old diesels and half the time the door locks won't work or you shut the door and it'll lock automatically or the trunk won't open when you want it to open. If you're having these kind of problems, I have lots of resources on my website that can help you fix your vacuum system, whether it be 
on the door locks, whether it be on the fuel shutoff, etc. And I'll put links for all those little kits and video instructions in the show more below this video.